Lord have mercy. I want to, um, this, and then I get back to the phones, all right? I want to tell you about this woman uh, that's uh, the president of the Heritage Foundation. And the Heritage Foundation, at one point, was a very conservative organization. At one time, I supported them. I uh, we held conferences at the Heritage Foundation, and I was stunned to find out that it has gone so liberal. But then when I found out they had a black woman over it, I understood. I'm like, I'll rest my, I'll rest my case. The president of the Heritage Foundation is a woman by the name of K. Cole James. And she wrote an op-ed piece for Fox in which she wrote that George Floyd's death proved to be a turning point to make Americans finally end the ugly racism that uh, strains our nation's history and affects us like a cancer of the soul. That's an evil woman. It's an outright lie, and she's going unchallenged on it. And she should not be the head of the Heritage Foundation. They shouldn't even let her be a member. Not to mention, she should not be the president. She's an evil, white-hating liar. How will this country come together as one again when you allow these people to just make false accusations and they go unchallenged? And then young people hear that, especially young educated people who have been educated away from common sense. They believe it. Look at all these young white millennials and others protesting with the enemies of America. Because they've been brainwashed, folks. This woman should not be over the Heritage Foundation unless they have gone total liberal and pretended to be conservative. She became the president of this Heritage Foundation back in uh, 2018. And here's a little more information about her. This Cole, K. Cole James, how did she get in there? What's wrong with the white people? I see white people. Um, this is from the Heritage Foundation. Nick. The, oh, this is her acceptance speech, I'm told by Nick. Some of y'all need to make a song, What's Wrong With The White People? Do y'all? <laughs> Maybe you need to go back to Mississippi. I'm going to do a remix. What's wrong with the white people? <laughs> white people. Why? So when K.C. James became president in 2018 of the uh, Heritage Foundation, she gave a, a speech about what inspired her to end racism in America. Here's a taste of it. So who, in fact, is this lady who's about to take the helm? Let me instead answer your question by sharing a story. When I was 12 years old, I started attending an all-white middle school. To say we weren't welcome there is an understatement. Despite the Supreme Court's Brown versus Board of Education ruling, Virginia Democrats insisted on keeping the public schools segregated. So I, along with 25 other incredibly brave young black children, tried to change that. For a while, navigating the halls in the school building meant being jeered at. It mean, 
meant being stuck with pins. It me meant being shoved. It me meant being kicked down the steps in the school. I experienced all of that. And I can see it on some of your faces. Yes, it was awful. But I want to tell you, it was worth it. You see, I was given a great gift, the opportunity to fight for something that I believed in. And that experience changed me forever. You know what? I've never stopped fighting. During my career, my fights have been for the sanctity of human life, for education equality, for welfare reform, and to end racism in America, and much more. And today, I feel like I am just getting started. As soon as she finished that speech, I would have raised my hand and said, uh, uh, excuse me, Miss K. James, we made a mistake. We don't want you here. You are a hateful, evil, lying woman. Miss K. James, we don't want you as the head of the Heritage Foundation. You go over to Hillary Clinton or Obama Foundation. You're in the wrong place with your mess. But they let her stay. And now it's doomed. I've told you once, and I told you twice. And I'll tell you again, when you're naughty or nice, white people don't bill. Black people don't bill, not white. Whites do bill. Black people don't bill. They destroy. This woman is destroying the Heritage Foundation. And at one time, it was an amazing foundation. And not one white person in that group is brave enough to tell this woman she needs to go. We made a mistake. You and the raw organization lady. And this woman, Kay James, was interviewed by a very radical, far-left, nasty black man who, I don't know if he's still married to her, but he was married to a black preacher woman. Can you imagine? I'll rest my case. Roland Martin, he was married to a black preacher woman, and I've debated this guy over and then, over, and one time he wanted to have a fight with me. <laughs> he wanted to fight on CNN, and um, he was uh, making, doing the commercial breaks, he was making an attempt as though he wanted to fight me, and my bodyguard whispered to me, at that time it was my nephew, not my son, but my nephew went, he was like, Uncle Parker, you want me to take him down? I'm like, no, nah, leave him alone. He's so fat, I'll knock him out in one knock. But uh, so this woman, Kay James, was interviewed by Roland in 2018. And I want you to hear what she said on uh, uh, concerning the future of conservatism. Watch this. I want to create an America where they can have more. Here's my argument or pitch or conversation when I am in all white conservative circles. I explain to them but that by the year 2050, this country is going to be run by black and brown people. Wow. And I said, why do they have to come on him? To understand that my grandchildren are going to be running this country, not yours. So if you genuinely love this country as you say you do, if you genuinely believe that conservative philosophy and ideology is the right one that will uplift, and I believe that, by mm -hmm. the way, then you will put time, energy, effort, and resources in taking these messages into those black and brown communities to educate, to help, uh, because at the end of the day, it is a shrinking group that you're speaking to. They didn't have sense enough to put the camera back on her or something? What the? They sure didn't like her, I guess. Uh, the camera guy must be black. But you heard what K. James, Cole James said? 
by 2050, I believe. Did she say 2050? That America would be run by black and brown, black and brown, black and brown, black and brown people. And this woman is the head of the foundation, Heritage Foundation. Are you crazy? This woman has a hidden agenda and is not in support of the Heritage Foundation, at least not what they used to be at one time. She wants this country, her grandchildren, not your grandchildren, to run America. Can you imagine that? And they grew up thinking that white people hate them. May God have mercy on America. And may God prevent black and brown from taking over America. Because, number one, the black going to destroy it. Number two, the black and, black and brown not going to get along. Mexicans don't like black people. And black people don't like Mexicans. They can't even live together in the hood. White people, y'all better get married and have some white babies. Where are the white babies? As a matter of fact, White History Month is coming up July, third year of celebrating White History Month. Y'all better be trying to make some babies during that month. Get married. They're trying to take your country away from you. Amazing. Let me take a quick break. I'll come back to the phones. Mind blowing. Amazing. And don't forget to like, follow, tweet, subscribe, and share the Jesse Lee Peterson radio show, folks. We really appreciate it. We are at war. It is a spiritual battle for the soul of America. And it's going to take all of us to do it.